Well, that was something you don't see every day. I'm happy to say. Uh, nobody was hurt. So, all that's left is to clean up the damage, right? This woman who, I don't know if you could hear it, but she was yelling at me to, to get back, even though I was back plenty far enough. She was telling me that she thought somebody set the fire. There was this shady looking skinny guy, as she described him, who she saw him squatting in front of a grave and then kneeling at another one. And she had seen him by the car earlier and she thinks he set the fire. I have no idea. I'm not gonna make that my problem. This is a beautiful open area. Um, although, I don't know if this is a field of burials of the poor. I came back out here today for one specific reason and I'll detail that when we get over to the far end here. I'm, I'm looking for a specific infant burial that I remember from years ago. I want to see if it's still uh, in the state it was when I was here when I last saw it. This, uh, this section and the adjacent ones. Uh, this is plot 4C. These are mostly infants. And we can assume a lot of unmarked burials are, are in play here, but a long time ago I came out here and found a cross, a burial that was marked by a, a cross, a very small cross. And the cross was turned upside down. And this was for an infant and when I saw it, I thought maybe there was some kind of symbolism, that an inverted cross was some kind of statement about the unfairness of, of mortality and the unfairness of those who never even got a chance to live. And that was how I chose to interpret it. But I looked at, I looked into these things and I, didn't find anything to suggest that an inverted cross was anything more than some asshole's idea of a joke. So I want to see if it's still here. But I think my chances of actually spotting it are pretty, pretty dim, pretty slim. But as long as I'm here, I'll, I'll get what images I can. This is a real cheerful way to spend your Sunday, isn't it? Watch a car burn to a crisp and then go out looking for an inverted cross on an infant's grave. Sounds like a Netflix series. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna find this. And as interested as I would be in doing so, I don't wanna make a an afternoon of it. The cross itself was small and since it had been turned upside down it was obviously dislodged. So I would think they um, I would think groundskeepers either got rid of it or it fell flat to the ground and I'm never going to spot it without going stone to stone to stone. That highway traffic is the BQE, by the way. And I've obviously exited the infant section. 
but I canvassed as much as is realistic. Maybe I'll find it another time. It's possible this was it and that it's been it's been made right, but I don't think this is it. The cross was, as I recall, was much smaller and more uh, more square. I just remember thinking that it was a violation or a desecration. And that maybe somebody had a motive in doing it. But, like I said, I think it was just somebody being an asshole. And if it did fall to the ground, it probably sunk into it like this one is doing. I just remembered another car fire that I saw once on some sort of upstate area, maybe the Taconic. I was with a, a coworker and we were going up to Bard College for some reason. I don't remember what our business up there was, but somewhere along the way we spotted a car completely engulfed in flame and a person standing maybe 100 feet away and he waved us down and we said let's get you out of here and he climbed into the into the back seat and he slammed the door onto his foot and apparently he was in a lot of pain but he said i don't care let's just get out of here and he said um you know we made sure he was all right and asked him all that stuff and he he's like yeah it's no problem he said uh, can you just get me to the to the bus stop the, the bus station up ahead uh he said there was a a bus station in some town the next exit and we did that and we didn't ask any we didn't ask a lot of questions he said he had no idea what happened why the car blew up like that but after we after we dropped him off at the at the bus station we we just couldn't come up with enough theories <clears throat> but we 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 did reasonably conclude that that dude burned the car and that he had some reason to destroy it. Maybe it was stolen or who knows. Uh, he did make up some mealy mouth sounding story. I don't remember what it was now, but he said that it's, you know, a new car. I have no idea why it would just burst into flames. And we're <clears throat> after he got out of the car, we were like, yeah, man, I can't think of a car, just a brand new car bursting into flames either. <clears throat> so maybe this, this incident will prove to be equally suspicious. I don't know. Not, not, not my business, though.